We're going to take a look at a little text from a textbook for earth science. Um, this is about the states of matter, and first I'm going to show you the way that I would read it, and second I'm going to show you the way that I would teach it to my students and hope that they would read it. Um, Alright, so first I am immediately drawn to the picture, and I see an iceberg with frozen water and ice around it, and then I look down and the title is water, water everywhere, and I note that that water is in blue, so this is going to be about water. Um, when I typically read my students' textbook, I don't read it word for word. Um, I try to find the bold and just try to find the things that really matter. So we can just dig straight down to the bones and figure out what we're learning. So when I look at this, um, first I see the water up in bold is blue. And then right below it, it says water in three common states of matter. So we're going to be learning about states of matter. Next it says states of matter are different phases in which any type of any given type of matter can exist. There are actually four well-known states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Plasma isn't represented in the iceberg photo, but the other three states of matter are. So from here, I'm gonna go back. Um, I'm just going to remember that we're learning about states of matter and how there are different phases in which any given type of matter can exist. And that we're gonna be talking about the four states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Um, Plasma probably isn't going to be mentioned much in this uh, text. So now I'm going to show you how I would read it with my students. So first of all, I would have them open up their book and they're going to see this picture in the title where it says water, water everywhere. And right off the bat, I would say, all right, let's, let's predict what we're going to be learning about. So we see this picture. We live in South Dakota. Um, do we see, living out here, we see frozen water which is solid we see snow or rain which is the liquid and we actually do see gas out here it's going to be the fog um and that's how i would link it to our my students lives to help them get a better grasp of what we're going to be um, talking about the next thing that i would do even before we start reading is i would once again try and um connect it with my students knowledge of the world you know where would we where would we see more frozen things? Would we see frozen, we've seen frozen waterfalls here. Um, we've seen frozen rain, we've seen liquid rain, we've seen fog, um, still not talking about plasma yet. And then moving on from there, um, we would go ahead and read it. So the way that I would read it with my students is, is the following. So the photo above represents water in three common states of matter. States of matter are different phases in which any given type of matter can exist. There are actually four well-known states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. So we're going to stop here and go back and highlight the words states of matter and then the words different phases in which any given type of matter can exist. So that way when we're writing it down in our notes, we just have the pure definition. And then we're also going to highlight the words four states of matter solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. So that way, also when they're looking back in the notes and their books, all it's going to say is states of matter, different phases in which any given type of matter can exist, four states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. And that's going to allow them to have that repetition too, where they go back and reread just these important things. So the next thing that I would do is continue reading. Uh, plasma isn't represented in the iceberg photo, but the other states, three states of matter are. The iceberg itself consists of water in the solid state, and the lake consists of water in the liquid state. Then we're going to glance back up at the photo. So we see the solid state. We're going to see the liquid state in the water. And then I would ask my students to go ahead and ask themselves a question. So do we see the gas state in this picture? And if it's not there, we can't actively see it. Can we visualize a time when we would see it? And the answer is going to be that there actually is gas in this photo. It's, it's going to be the water evaporating up off of the water from the lake and entering back into the air or going onto the iceberg. Yep, so that's how I would read it to my students. Thank you.